Hey guys, and welcome back to another Code in Exiles video. Today we've got another mod-free easy base edition, and this time it's a tannery. The requirements are on screen now, and it's a pretty simple build. Any materials can be substituted, and you can scale this down to tier 1 or up to tier 3. So, without further ado, let's get started. Firstly, I built the base plate as shown in the blueprint. I used wooden ceilings and wedges supported underneath by pillars, though you could use fence foundations if you prefer, but you will need to place regular foundations first due to the wedges. Starting on the walls, I first placed a staircase with sloping sides to contain it at the front of the build, and then used stone brick walls to close the gaps between the foundations and the ground below. I then placed a door frame, followed by stable gate frames on either side of that door, and around the open air extension. I placed wooden fences inside these gates, and then placed door frames again either side of the entrance. To continue the walls, I built them one tile high around the perimeter and segmented off the one block extensions. For the second tile of walls, I then swapped over to wood. I used ceilings on the second tile to start off the first floor and to hang walls from, though I did need to also place ceilings above the entrance segment to support those walls all the way around. I'm going for quite an open air feel in this build as, well, many people have informed me in the comments that tanneries were quite smelly places and I think that fits quite well into this design. Once the walls were in position, I placed a hatch frame on the second tile, using ladders to connect the ground and the first floor together. I chose not to use stairs to save on space, and then finished off those ceilings. For the final segment of walls, I replicated the real windows I placed on the ground floor, and then used wood walls again to build one tile high, alongside including some regular windows on the rear. Atop the open air workshop, I placed a single ceiling and used insulated roof pieces to enclose this area. I did also place a rooftop end piece on that central ceiling, but I later chose to remove it. I then built some extra roofing on the one tile cubbies and atop the entrance roof. I then finally constructed the roof on the central section. This is a very simple circular roof design with a flat peak of wooden ceilings. The final adjustment to this build is purely aesthetic. I removed the walls below the open air segment, placed stable gate frames beneath the ceiling tiles and then replaced the walls to get a more aesthetic look on this area. As with our previous EBAs, let's decorate this build on the interior with the necessary crafting stations. Of course this is just how I've chosen to lay it out and you can lay it out however you'd prefer with the relevant stations. I firstly placed some braziers and then an improved tanner's table in the open air segment, alongside an improved tannery opposite. I placed a second tannery in the main section, alongside a second regular tanner's table. In the one block segments, I placed chests to make storage cabinets. I've done this before, it's very effective. In total, there will be 10 chests in each cabinet, making for a total of 900 slots of storage in these two cabinets alone, with much more to be dotted around the build with other storage items. I also added an oven next to the tanner's table, purely out of convenience, as I imagine a tanner would likely end up coming across meat in his hide gathering endeavours. Upstairs we've got a fair bit of free space, so unlike some other EBAs, I actually included a living area of sorts. It's far from extravagant, but it's comfortable enough, more comfortable than some of the other bedrooms I've included in other EBA designs. There's a double bed, some more storage, decorative armour stands, and even an armourer's bench for convenience in using leathers to make armour and padding. And finally we have the finished version of the tannery. I've left the exterior relatively untouched, save for a tanner's sign, a well, and a decorative handcart. On the interior, I swapped out the inner six wedges for sandstone just for aesthetics, but you can do whatever you like with that segment. Aside from the crafting stations and storage I placed earlier, I added some extra decorations like taxidermied animal heads, skeletal displays, and some shelves containing pots just to build on the established atmosphere of this tannery. Upstairs, things haven't changed too much, it's basically nearly identical to the original layout. The vibe of this build is very dense, with the overwhelming wood tone, so I did add a couple of plants here to break the atmosphere in the bedroom. 
Of course, as with previous EBAs, this is merely a suggestion. This design can work for almost any style and material palette, be that Namidian, Kitan, Turanian, or pretty much anything else. The design can also be adapted to include more space for the larger station should you want it. And there we have it, a tannery designed to be an easy base addition. Thanks for watching, you guys seem to find these EBAs pretty useful and I've already done quite a few of them, so if there are some that I haven't done yet that you'd specifically like to see in the future, do feel free to make suggestions in the comments. As always, a massive thanks to our wonderful esteemed coffee cultists for continuing to support the channel over on Patreon. Again, thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you soon.